BlackBerry.com. Sweden. That's right. right. Like, yeah, I've been been there for about nine months, and uh, if I may, it's been an, an astonishing experience working with the folks. Excellent. 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 I got that. <laughs> so tell us about uh, you know the philosophy behind how the astonishing tribe works because it's really kind of unique. Definitely, TAT's motto has been uh, "Design loves technology," right? And it's this whole idea of taking really great user designs and and marrying that with the technology to realize them. And it's something that they the, the, that this group lives and breathes every day. But, the constant interaction between the designers and the developers to, to get things exactly the way you want. And I mean, there's a tremendous pedigree behind this, this company. I mean, they've, they've been putting some pretty mind-blowing ideas out there exactly. on the internet for, for years. Yeah. So it's really been just a pleasure getting to know them and really understanding how they work behind the scenes. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And so yeah, like you said, you know, we've been taking this design-less technology and, and trying, to, trying to, to take that pedigree and put it into, into BlackBerry 10. We're calling this prepackaged elegance. Excellent. So let's take a look. This is the yeah. new Cascades UI framework. Yeah, so the first thing I want to show you here, uh, and this is a great example of design loves technology, because what I asked the team to develop here is, a, is an application that shows off the, each of the core controls that we have available in, in Cascades. And rather than simply do a standard boring application that, that, that shows each of the controls, uh, a designer developer sat together working on this and came up with this notion of a cookbook. Right? So you have all your recipes to build your applications. And, and the source code for this particular application will be included with the Cascades tooling. So anybody building applications can see the source code behind all of these core controls. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of Yeah, there's a couple of, we want to kind of show off here today and show some of what we've been talking about. So this is an example. The, the background here behind the text is an image, and there's kind of a leather texture to it. Mm -hmm. uh, and as we change the size of the text, you can see the animation uh, of the image as it grows and shrinks. And in addition, yeah. sorry. So as, as a developer, I mean, what do, you, what do you need to do to take advantage of some of these you know, rich effects, the flow of the animation? It's all, it's all completely built in. You basically say, this is what I, this is my starting point. I need it to be this big when it has these lines, this big when it has these lines, and the animations, everything in between is all handled by the framework. And including, uh, I don't know if, if people notice, but the, the radio buttons here as I transition between them, right? You can see the blue shading kind of slides between the buttons, and the, the white dot in the center pops out. Well, again. Uh, all you do is put two radio buttons in a group, and the rest you get for free. Very cool. So, now, what about some other? Uh... Yeah. So, a couple other things I can show off here. So, here, here is again some examples of animations. Right. So, if I change from a, from a you know, super size to a small size scrambled uh, scrambled eggs, right? You can see both the, the the size of the eggs animates as it changes, and the third one when it comes in and kind of right. kind of wobbles. Again, this is you know you're providing the assets, and the framework is doing, doing the work. Now, exactly. what if you want to change the uh, you know the dynamics, like the physics behind it. Definitely, yeah. So, so this is an example here. This this screen kind of shows off some of the stock <laughs> physics curves that we have built in. So you don't really have to understand anything about the physics of acceleration and deceleration in your, in your animations. You simply pick one of the ones that you want, and uh, the framework does the rest of it. Right. Right. And make it bounce around. You can make you can totally make it bounce around. And all right. Yeah. So this is amazing. Again, like looking at other platforms, I mean, typically this kind of work, you would need a background in graphics and physics exactly. to be able to achieve some of these effects. They're all baked right into the framework. Right so let's exactly. take a look at, at some of these in, uh, in an actual app. Yeah, so this is a you know, pretty straightforward example of a, of a memo application. This one, the guys built for me to help me with my Swedish uh, pronunciations and, and, you know, some of my, uh, yeah, my Swedish uh, meatball recipe. Yeah, exactly. So again, yes. some, some animation coming in. Exactly. So, you know, the, the text-based list, you can see the, the, the smooth scrolling. As I click on items, you see the text uh, animates in and out. Uh, I can create a new mm -hmm. one. You can see the page uh, kind of... Uh, you know, flow in or when I created a new one here. Yep. If I want to delete one, um, we have this kind of shredding effect. And again, these are all the examples of like effects. Th that 3D effects that are literally dropped in and prepackaged as part of the uh, the core framework. Exactly, right. exactly. One awesome. more here. I know this is, this is your favorite yeah, one. one. If I use my uh, two finger pinch here on the list, what I can do is filter. And again, you know, you talk about these 3D effects on a, on a, on a 2D. Yeah. What I, what I love about this is, I mean, here you have a pretty standard app, right? A basic notes app. Uh, you're using 3D in a way that's not just frivolous; it's really adding function to it. I mean, this is really, for me at least, showing how you know you can take this going forward in something like Cascades. Exactly. Yeah. In this case, we're filtering based on whether you have them starred or not. So if you simply want to see your favorites, you just. So let's take a look at something a little more out there in terms yeah. of the UI concept. 
So this is an example of a, of, of a photo viewing application. You can see it's kind of the idea here is sort of a laid back concept. The, the photos sort of float down like leaves and then, and then yeah. float down the river. You can control the scroll. Yeah, and you can see it shifts between some different camera angles. If I touch on ones, I can see some of the, the text that's associated with it. Again, right behind the scenes, this is a standard Cascades list. It's yeah, just it's the, the designer just re-imaged uh, how they want the, uh, the, the, the UI on top. So of things that. like, I mean, you have shaders showing the, you know, the curves on the edges of the photos. Exactly. You have the draw shadows coming down. All of this is baked in as, uh, as quick hand kind of effects. Yep. Uh, I mean, it's just it's amazing. Yeah, and you can see it's more than just uh, still images. There's videos in here as well. Really cool. All right, now how about something that kind of takes you know, a real-world problem and kind of applies exactly. the Cascades treatment? Yeah, so this, this is a great example here. So this, again, behind the scenes, it's, it's a standard list. There's over 300,000 inbox messages here that we're processing live as we play with this. And this is just a, a, a different graphical way of, of viewing the same data. Um, so we've got colors here based on people. I can filter on the kinds of messages. I definitely use this on my... Uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. If I screw, you know, again with the two finger, two finger pinch, I can zoom in and see... I mean, the performance is incredible, right? It's just completely fluid. And, uh, you know, we've got the little, the little hot topic text here that kind of bounces like a little in tag a little bit. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So, yeah, maybe the future of how, how we manage communications and uh, made possible Indeed. again by the power of... Uh, the underlying OS and the Cascades UI frame. Exactly. So yeah. This is amazing stuff, Jeff. Thank you very much. Okay, Jeff. Yeah. So, uh, now you've had a chance to...